Back in 1912, Regina's Victoria Park didn't look much different than it does today. But one hot summer afternoon, without warning, death swept through here. And a Regina couple, newly arrived from England, were caught in the middle of it. Frank and Bertha Blankhorn married in England in April 1912. As the story goes, they got so carried away with the wedding celebration, they missed their passage on a ship to North America. That ship was the Titanic. And everyone knows what happened to her. The Blankhorns must still have been marveling at their good luck when they finally arrived in Regina to begin a new life together. Frank found work in Regina, apparently, initially with one of the city's three daily newspapers, the Regina Standard. Um, he later uh, formed a real estate business. Bill Brennan is Regina's historian. He says the Blankhorns couldn't possibly have known what was coming on the afternoon of Sunday, June 30th, 1912. It was a very hot day, apparently. It had been quite hot for some days, actually. And uh, late in the afternoon, uh, storm clouds began to appear south of the city. And these storm clouds proved to be uh, the beginnings of a tornado. Late in the afternoon, the Blankhorns were returning home from visiting friends. As they entered Victoria Park, they would have seen the threatening skies, felt the wind pick up, and heard a chilling sound off in the distance. In the history books, it would become known as the Regina Cyclone. The funnel cloud hit the city from the south, headed towards Wascana Park, and swept right by the newly built legislative buildings. It hit the center of the city with a fury. The Methodist Metropolitan Church was destroyed, both the YWCA and YMCA buildings were flattened. And in the Telephone Exchange building, a massive switchboard crashed through the floor and into the basement, taking operators with it. In Victoria Park, the Blankhorns must have run for their lives. They wouldn't make it. The Blankhorns were killed uh, by the tornado, thrown in the air, apparently. They uh, were found dead under a collapsed building uh, on Lauren Street. Their tornado carried on, ripping through the CP rail yards and into a residential area. It left some houses destroyed, others untouched, before finally blowing itself out. From start to finish, it lasted only five minutes. The tornado of 1912 was one of the strongest ever to uh, be uh, recorded in Canada. Uh, the wind speeds uh, would have been between three and 400 kilometers an hour, uh, which would have had and did have a devastating impact on the mostly wooden buildings. The tornado killed 28 people. Over 200 more were injured. And Frank and Berta Blankhorn, who defied fate aboard the Titanic, they died less than three months later in the greatest natural disaster Saskatchewan's ever known. For the CBC News Hour, I'm Bill Wazer in Regina. <laughs>